friends, sir, I'm going to tell you that if there are two vectors, a1 i cap, a2 j cap, a3 k cap, the other is b1 i cap, b2 j cap, and b3 k cap, find the condition that a is parallel to b. Look up, students. When a is parallel b, then a cross b equal to sine 0 and cap, that is 0 vector. Now, how to find a cross b? Well, to find a cross b, we will use the concept of determinants. Students, this is the plus 2 mathematics topics. In a very simple way, I am going to explain how to use determinant just in one minute. Look, students, a cross b. A cross b, when we have to find, we write the two parallel lines. This is called determinant. The red two lines are called determinant. We write i1 cap, ij cap, ik cap. Now, the coefficient of i cap, just see a1, b1, a1, b1, j cap, a2, b2, k cap, a3, b3. Now, how to solve this determinant? Just put i cap here, then you will write a2, a3, b2, b3, minus j cap, a1, a3, b1, b3, plus k cap, a1, a2, b1, b2. You must know how to isolate a1, a3, b1, b3. Suppose we put j cap here, then this will be absent. What is that? a1, a3, b1, b3. We put k cap here, a1, a2, b1, b2. Now, simple cross multiplication, a2, b3, minus b2, a3. Then minus j cap a1 b3 b1 a3 then similarly a1 b2 minus b1 a2 after this we put the conditions of the physics vector algebra what's that a parallel b a cross b equal to zero it means students this entire side will be equal to zero since i cap j cap k cap these are called unit vectors, cannot be zero. How one can be equal to zero? It means that the coefficient of i cap, coefficient of j cap, coefficient of k cap must be zero. So a2 b3 minus b2 a3 zero. a2 upon a3 b2 upon b3. It means a2 upon b2 equal to a3 upon b3. Just we have done the cross multiplication. Similarly, students, a1, b3, minus b1, a3, a1 upon a3, b1 upon b3. Or we can write a1 upon b1, a3 upon b3. Similarly, a1 upon b1 equal to a2 upon b2. From first, second, and third, a1 upon b1, a2 upon b2, a3 upon b3. This is the condition to determine the two vectors 